John McAvoy is one of the fittest men in Britain. The holder of eight records for indoor rowing, he's now training to qualify for the World Ironman Championship and preparing for a challenge on the world record for rowing the Atlantic. But John is a long way from being a typical sportsman. There's just guns everywhere just pointing towards me and they're shouting at me, get down on the floor, get down on the floor. Get down. In his former life, John was an armed robber, one of Britain's most wanted men. I've been around organised crime from a very, quite a young age, from probably, well, from eight, nine years old. It was here, on this quiet street in South London, on the 7th of September 2005, that John's luck ran out. My hands are up, and then a couple of them have come over, dragged me to the floor, they've obviously handcuffed me, and I laid there and I was completely deflated, like I knew, done, I'm done. As a criminal well known to the police and well connected in the underworld, John was sent here, Belmarsh, London's highest security prison. His initial plan was to escape and continue his life of crime in Europe. But then, three years later, a friend died on an armed robbery in the Netherlands. I realised for the first time in my whole life what rubbish all this was. Like, it ends two ways. You either spend your whole life sitting in a prison cell or you die. That's where it all began to take off. While he was still in jail, John started breaking rowing machine records, one after the other. You know when you, you see something, something that catches your eye, you know, and you think, wow, this is something not you don't normally see. Next, rowing's elite began to take notice, and now, after his release by the parole board, he has illustrious training partners ahead of his Ironman challenge. I think, obviously, one of the things that he showed from spending so long in prison and getting to the standard he got to was just the mental drive that he was going to sit there and he was going to get very, very good at this. But John's biggest motivation is to stop other youngsters making the same mistakes. All they want is respect and admiration. That it, because I, I, this is how I personally felt when I was younger. And you want that admiration. What you realise is you can get that through sport. You don't need to be a gangster. You don't need to be a bad man. You don't need to shoot people. You don't need to stab people. You don't need to do none of that stuff. And John's message is very simple. I wasted a decade of my life locked in a cage. And I just hope that my story and my life can inspire them to look and think, well, if he can do it, so can I. Stuart Silvers, Al Jazeera, London.